We're outside and it's cold. Uh, you're very welcome back. It's that time of year and the cold weather has well and truly arrived. Before we know it now, we'll be facing things like frost, hail and dare we say it. Don't! I won't say snow then. Don't. <laughs> don't say snow. I we don't want to say you're, snow. You're the weather guy. You know, you, you yeah. can say it. I can't. <laughs> so cars. I, yeah. Yeah. How can we make sure our car is road ready? Uh, Mick Crane from Mix Garage joins us this morning to discuss these things because we do need. Here we are at the October bank holiday weekend. Wednesday's the 1st of November. We'll be into the thick of it by then. So we need to be ready. Absolutely. I mean, winter, it's very, very important to get your car ready for winter. We can see how things ha can happen very quickly between floods and snowfall mm -hmm. and everything else. So it's very, very important to have your car ready. That's, you know, having your tyres sorted out and having your clean windscreen, all of those type of things, critically important. Okay, okay. let's clean the windscreen. Okay. Go. Yeah, so first of all, this is a pingy device. And this pingy device, what it does is you can put it in the microwave. You can heat it up in the microwave. You put it on your uh, dash of your car and it takes away all condensation. But it can be used outside of the car as well. It can be used in houses, you know, in the morning, typically, you know, if you get up and there's condensation on the window, it's really helped. It absorbs all of that moisture. You heat it up first in the microwave. You heat it up it first in the microwave. It's like a bean bag type it's thing. It's a bean bag type yeah. thing. It's like Absolutely. the ones you put on your, your shoulders. Yeah. Exactly the same That's thing. That's a good idea. Exactly you'll be exactly putting that on your back just sitting down watching the telly. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> shout at the kids to bring me another glass of wine. But, but it's <laughs> my, microwave for six minutes. A pingy, is it? She said. Pingy, it's pingy. called. Yeah, yeah, it's class. Right, okay, Polish. great. Yeah. Okay. What else you got? Fantastic. So, then we have a heater defroster fan. Now, this is an electric car behind us, so typically you don't need these sort of things in an electric car because they've got instant heat. When you turn on the heater, it's instant on the windscreen. But in your normal internal combustion engines, petrol and diesel, you know yourself, it take, can take a couple of miles to yep. heat up the car. Yeah. So this is very, very useful in the morning just to plug it into your cigarette lighter and to defrost your windows. Now, just bear in mind, the last thing you want to do is, is destroy your battery in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure your car is started up, but you can leave this plugged in and you've got instant heat to defrost your windows. So very, I'm, very I'm, I'm not waiting and kind of scratching at the windscreen before I can actually get you know, a, some kind of vision Ex before I can... Exactly get right. It, and if you, if well, I was got, halfway here this morning before the, the fog was gone. No, genuinely, <laughs> but because it takes so long for the... It yeah, takes so long. If it's, up, yeah. it's obviously a petrol or diesel engine, yeah. right? And that's exactly right. And that's what this is, it resolves. Okay. And this device here as well, it's just two different versions of it, a smaller one and a bigger one. Okay. Excellent. Okay. okay. What's this? Yeah, so this is a digital tyre compressor. Again, this is critical for not just winter. This is critical for any time of the year. Just to make absolutely sure that if you get a puncture on the road or you have, your car is soft, because your car doesn't perform the same way if your tyre is soft. No. First of all, you use more fuel. Your braking can be off-centre. So it's really important to have the pressure in your tyres set to the correct manufacturer pressure. Right. So yeah. what we have is we have one of the devices plugged into this car here. It's very, very small. It just can get you out of a hole or get your friends out of a hole. I've had one of these for years and many times I've never had to use it myself but I've had to use it for other people on the road. Okay. It's top yeah. up or whatever. Oh, it's yeah. top up when, yeah. you that, when you're getting that alert. What's the boost plus? Yeah, the jump starter is it's a great little simple device. If you remember all the jump starters of years ago they were yeah. like a wheelbarrow they were that heavy yeah. to put into the car. Take up the this is exactly boost, yeah. the same thing. This will start a van this will start up anything up to a two and a half liter engine from dead from a dead battery so it's a really really useful it's a dinky all, isn't it but also it serves as a backup device for your mobile phones or or for anything else so again very very useful device to have it's got a car. torch on it as well does it correct it does so in that case sold yeah grant okay you're happy with torch. that yeah grant okay, okay. Grant. Oh, there it is there it is you That's see he, he he likes his gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you can't afford to buy that, just a set of jump leads, then you've got to a find set of jump leads. And this is exactly and this is exactly what we have here on this side is a set of jump leads. And again, they're very very useful to have a set of yeah, jump leads winter, because yeah. someone will always stop. Now you've got to remember a lot of new cars batteries are buried, and it's very very difficult to get at batteries mm -hmm. with with a big set of jump leads. You know, yeah. and then you have electric cars. Of course, uh, a quarter of the new car sales this year have been electric. So if someone comes on electric they can't jump start you either right. so having one of these devices trumps this okay it's okay. better to have the okay. little box yeah very handy okay um, that's the charger. Yeah, this is a different, this is actually a top-up charger. So this is a different sort of, it's a small charging device because if your car is older or typically if it's left in the driveway for a few days at a time, you might end up with a dead battery, right? Or a boat that's left up for the winter or whatever else. This is a trickle charger that keeps the charge. It's just a very, very low power that keeps your battery topped up and keeps uh, it from going dead. Rain. 
Uh, it rains yeah. quite a bit in Ireland, it, especially in the does. last few weeks. For, so we've seen, well, we've, particularly for the whole summer, we've seen, we've seen a lot of rain. <laughs> it does. But if you don't want the rain getting on your car, this is this is incredible. The, the rain repellent. This is yeah. Uh, this is a, this is a, this is a great little this is a great little tool. So we're going to show you that here. Yeah. So on this side here, so what we're going to do is spray some uh, rain repellent. What's it on, called? On the, it's a Rainex rain repellent. Rainex. Rainex rain repellent. So we're going to just spray some Rainex rain repellent on the window. And then what you can do is once the once the rain comes onto it, it just flies off the flies off the windscreen. So you can see here now. now oh wow! Okay, so it's a very very useful. And the most important thing in winter is keeping your windscreen clean. That's the key to everything. Okay. Okay. So, I, I'm just delighted he brought a bottle of rain. With him. Yeah, it was very. Well, do you know what? The one, the one morning we needed a bit of rain out here. <laughs> we didn't get it. We didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, get yeah. it. <laughs> I, and I could throw that in the kids as well. Could I? Look, they'll come home dry. Well, <laughs> listen. To, yeah. Well, look, my kids are never home dry, <laughs> so it's it's a. Uh, we, we could try it. We're getting a lot of noise in the background, but that's something you're going to find out about more we're, we're doing that with in friend, the next hour. Friends later on. Uh, what else? What have we not covered then? So yeah. So then we have a simple winter ice kit. A winter ice kit is just a very, very cheap kit that's yeah. very, very useful. So you have a, a, a de-icer for your windscreen. You have a, a, a windscreen wash, and you have a gummy fledge which softens all the rubber in your car, and you have an ice scraper. Again, it's just a kit that's in the car. Very low, uh, lo a low amount of money, and it can get you out of a hole in a winter's morning. Okay, the gummy fledge will stop your car leaking as well. No, the gummy, well, in effect, yes. I mean, what it does is, right, it softens the rubber. So in winter time, the rubbers around your window can crack and allow leaks into the car. Okay, if they're frozen out, right? up, yeah. And of course, it creates its longevity for your for the rubber if you get this stuff onto it. So it just keeps that rubber nice and moist. Okay. Fledge, uh, gummy, right. fle P gummy fledge. Uh, we are almost fledge. out of time. Uh, we need to just quickly mention the the sock. Yeah. These are the most. The snow th these are amazing. Because you right? couldn't get these. No, in 2018. You, you, you couldn't get them, and we still have plenty of them. Right? <laughs> we still have plenty of them, and we're still waiting for. We're still waiting for a bit of snowfall. So these are an amazing device. So in in winter time, it's uh, you get that onto the wheel of your car when you have a lot of snow on the ground, and the traction it gives you is absolutely incredible, and it's, they're just amazing. Brilliant. Okay, nice okay. one. That's Daffy is saying an awful lot in the background. I was going to say that the, the, the bird is laughing at us, but it's not the first time a bird's been laughing at me. Mate, thanks so much for joining <laughs> Great us. Great to see morning. you. You're very thanks welcome. For thanks for having me. Sure. Stay with us, we've got more Ireland AM coming up after the break.